Hello everybody, welcome to Joe's Game and Tech Channel. Again, we have a couple items here I'm going to do an unboxing for you. And later down the road we will do a more detailed review of these items uh, to include a benchmark um, because they're all part of a PC build so that way you can see the performance of them as well as see what comes in the package. So we're going to get started here with first we have the cooling unit for the CPU. Uh, it is a Cooler Master uh, Hyper 212 Evo. A little bit of tape on the top. Pulls right out into a nice tray. Got a, got a back plate. Some instructions here. Uh, mounting brackets and spacers, some screws inside, your thermal compound. Double-sided sticky tape. And then the cooling unit itself. The heat sink, the fan, it's already actually all pretty much assembled. Um, plant plug for it there and there it is pretty simple I do like with this they put a protector on the bottom here um, I don't know if you can tell but it's there's a protector right there to keep the uh, copper uh, the copper contact to contacts the thermal paste with the processor um, keep that clean and free of dirt before you, it gets installed so that's nice that's it for that next we got a solid state drive it's a crucial mx100 great drive it's 512 gigs as you can see the package is very small because the device is very small solid state drive no moving parts which equals great performance Okay, inside we have activation information for, I guess this has software you can download from the company uh, to manage the drive and do trim support and stuff like that. So yeah, activation information, keep that. And there's the drive. This looks like a mounting bracket of some type. Very small, very fast drive. I think the read and write speeds are 500 and 540 megs a second. So very fast drive. Next is another hard drive. It's a Western Digital, Western Digital one terabyte hard drive. Some screws. Hard drive packaged nicely. Standard simple hard drive in your static shield. Keep it safe. Documentation, warranty information. Show there's registration information and stuff like that. Another hard drive. No packaging really to this, just a 500 gig hard drive. That's gonna go in the network attached storage. Give us a little bit of extra storage, some cloud storage as well. The brain of the system, Intel Core i7 processor. This happens to be a model 5820, 3.3 gigahertz, uh, chipset LGA 2011 version three. It is the new chipset from Intel with, with their Haswell chipset. This particular processor does not come with a heat sink. That is why we had purchased the Cooler Master.
little sticker there you can stick on your computer your owner's manual basically installation instructions comes with a three-year limited warranty and you also get McAfee live uh, antivirus which I personally do not recommend McAfee software but it comes with it and it's held into place in this cardboard which is like such and that is one hefty looking chip when handling a chip CPU, you never want to touch the pins, if there are pins. If there's no pins, which this one has no pins, it's all just a back plate. You don't want to touch where it contacts the motherboard because anything in there can cause corrosion or bad communication and just lead to problems down the road. This is everything that ties everything together. This is our motherboard. This is made by Gigabyte. This is a X99 UD5 Wi-Fi motherboard, which means it's got Wi-Fi built in. I'll pull it out here for you. Comes in a fancy box. You can open it up. You can look inside. Kind of see the motherboard before you purchase it. So in the box you have the motherboard. This particular motherboard supports crossfire up to four times and or SLI up to four times. So they provide your bridges for that particular use, whether you're using a two, a three, or a four SLI or crossfire setup. So you have those. You have SATA cables, braided SATA cables. And these are going to be SATA 3.0, which supports your 6 gigabit per second transfer rate. You also have adapters for your PCI Express graphics card if they require more input or more power I should say cable there of course your installation guide user's manual you have your discs for your drivers and utilities this is the installation guide And the cool thing about this back panel is, is it's actually a lighted back panel. Uh, it plugs into the motherboard. It's great for cases where you're in the dark, you're at a LAN party or something, and you need to plug stuff in and you're like, I can't see the plug. Well, this is all lit up back here for you. And we can pull this out here and let's take a little bit more. You can see it better that way. It's all lit up. Very nice. And then this motherboard actually supports, it's a Wi-Fi built in. It goes into an M2.0 socket on the motherboard. So it's got your Wi-Fi and Bluetooth antenna right here, which you can put anywhere you think you might want to sit it down and then extend that up and you're good. So you got Wi-Fi and Bluetooth all in one. It's great.
A little bit more about this motherboard here. It supports eight pieces of RAM. This motherboard and this chipset actually supports quad channel memory, DDR4. Um, a lot of people are used to the DDR3, which only is dual channel. This is quad channel, so there's four channels of RAM. So therefore, you have eight slots of RAM, which the motherboard, I believe, supports up to 64 gigs. Your audio is separate from the board. It's on the same board, yes, but it's actually, there's shielding for the audio so you don't get any audio feedback or noise from the motherboard itself or the processor or anything going on there. This right here is your Wi-Fi chip. Obviously, the processor is going to go there. You have plenty of SATA ports across here. You also have eSATA as well, so that's nice. You have your troubleshoot LEDs right here. There's a problem. Your motherboard will throw out um, code numbers, and you can troubleshoot the problems. On the back, you got tons of USB 3.0 ports. You have a fast boot button. You have an overclock button. And then you have a reset button on the back. It's a dual Ethernet port, so you have two Ethernet plugs you can plug in. You have optical audio out, and it supports audio 5.1. So this here is, again, a Gigabyte uh, UD5 X99 Wi-Fi chipset motherboard. Okay, so I hope you guys enjoyed the unboxings. I'm going to give you a review in the future here with performance updates on this on how it performed for me please make sure you like comment and subscribe to my channel if you like this channel please comment any questions please feel free to ask there's all kinds of specs that i did not cover about this motherboard and the processor and everything and whatnot so again if there's questions put them in the comments guys thanks